In this video, we'll listen to some examples of audio recordings taken with four different mic capsules for the Zoom H5 and the Zoom H6. We'll hear the XYH5, which is the capsule that comes with the H5, the XYH6, which is the capsule that comes with the H6, the MSH6, which is the mid-side mic that comes with the H6, and we'll also listen to the top of the line SSH6, which is the uh, shotgun microphone that you can add on to either of these recorders. As a baseline, we'll listen to a recording taken with my camera's internal microphone, and we'll listen to these microphones recording in two different scenarios. One where the microphone is mounted close to the speaker on a tabletop, and a second where the microphone is mounted on a camera eight to 10 feet away from the speaker. So if you'd like to follow along with this test blind, the way to do that is minimize this window. That way you can write down your own scores and get a sense of how high quality the audio is without being biased by knowing what the microphone was. At the end, I'll come back and we can share some conclusions and I wish you the best of luck. Here starts the test. Seven, seven, two, three. About 40 years ago, I was taking a long trip on foot over mountain heights, quite unknown to tourists. In that region, in that ancient region where the Alps thrust down into Provence. All, all this at the time I embarked upon my long walk through these deserted regions was barren and colorless land. Nothing grew there but wild lavender. 8925. The oaks of 1910 were then 10 years old and taller than either of us. It was an impressive spectacle. I was literally speechless, and as he did not talk, we spent the whole day walking in silence through his forest. In three sections, it measured 11 kilometers in length and three kilometers at its greatest width. When you remembered that all this had sprung from the hands and soul of just one man, you understood that men could be as effectual as God in other realms than that of destruction. 5176. He had pursued his plan, and beech trees as high as my shoulders, spreading out as far as the eye could reach, confirmed it. He showed me handsome clumps of birch planted five years before, that is, in 1915, when I had been fighting in Verdun. He had set them out in all the valleys where he had guessed, and rightly, that there was moisture almost at the surface of the ground. This is 7790. For a human character to reveal truly exceptional qualities, must, one must have the good fortune to be able to observe its performance over many years. If this performance is devoid of all egoism and his guiding motive is unparalleled generosity, if it is absolutely certain that there is no thought of rep recompense, and that, in addition, it has left a visible mark upon the earth, there could be no mistake. This is 8944. He gave me a drink from his water gourd, and a little later took me to a cottage in the fold of the plain. He drew his water, excellent water, from a very deep natural well, above which he had constructed a primitive winch. The man spoke little. This is the way of those who live alone, but one felt that he was sure of himself, and confident in his assurance. 2863 during his lifetime, Jean Giano, who considered himself to be Italian and provincial, in addition to French, was judged one of the greatest writers of our age by such authorities as Henri Pierre and André Malraux. Both Pierre and Malraux ranked Giano first or second in French 20th century literature. This is 1852. The shepherd went to fetch a small sack and poured out a heap of acorns on the table. He began to inspect them one by one with great concentration, separating the good from the bad. I smoked my pipe. I did not offer to help him. He told me that it was his job, and in fact, seeing the care he devoted to the task, I did not insist. This is 9134. He had pursued his plan, and beech trees as high as my shoulder, spreading out as far as the eye could reach, confirmed it. He showed me handsome clumps of birch planted five years before, that is, in 1915, when I had been fighting in Verdun. He had set them out in the valleys where he had guessed, and rightly, that there was moisture almost at the surface of the ground. 5-1-3-4 
5015. Creation seemed to come about in a sort of chain reaction. He did not worry about it. He was determinedly pursuing his task in all its simplicity. But as we went back towards the village, I saw water flowing in brooks that had been dry since the memory of man. This was the most impressive result of chain reaction that I had seen. So as I'm sure you could hear from those examples, either the H5 or the H6, no matter what capsule you're using, is just a tremendous improvement over your camera's internal microphone. In the tabletop scenario, all four of these capsules performed incredibly well. In the camera mounted scenario, they all outperformed the camera's integrated microphone, no question. Though I would say that's a difficult scenario for these microphones to handle given the reverb in this room. And you might need to do some post-processing to be able to get the best performance out of these microphones in that scenario. For example, your uh, mid-side microphone and your stereo, your shotgun microphone would both be able to, in post-processing, focus your recording signal on your speaker by taking that channel and di disregarding the channel that's meant for your stereo uh, ambient sound. So I haven't done any of that pro post-processing for you in this video. Maybe I'll come back and do that in a future video. Um, but I wanted to give you a, a sense of how these sound. If you are thinking of getting one of these recorders and you're not sure what capsule to get, my recommendation would be to go ahead and pick one up based on the number of recording channels you would need. If you think you might only need four channels, which is probably gonna be a lot of you, the H5 is a fantastic option. If you're pretty sure you're gonna have some more complicated scenarios and you need those more advanced input options of the H6, then it's great that you get this free, uh, this add-on capsule as well, this omnidirectional mid-side capsule. But I think what you wanna do is get yourself into the game with a recorder and then figure out if you're gonna to need to add a capsule based on what kind of complaints you have about the audio after you've been working with your st standard stereo microphone for long enough to really know what your problem is. So for me, for one example, you may find that in the, you wanna shoot the speaker from a distance and you wanna get, get yourself into a shotgun microphone, but I'd recommend you just get into the game and pick up a recorder with the, and start using that XY microphone before you really uh, jump too deep into the capsules. All right, I hope you found this useful and I wish you the best of luck choosing a field recorder. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, please do click a link from the description before you make your purchase and help support me. And if you're looking for a different review or comparison, check my channel, I may have what you're looking for. I'm doing a bunch of these blind tests and I'll also be getting into some of the features and other aspects of these Zoom field recorders, including the qual build quality, ease of use, and so on. So I wish you the best of luck making your choice, and I'll talk to you again soon.